It's July 11, 2017, and the street in Milan has just been named after Alfonsina Strada, a woman cyclist who raced in the Giro d'Italia along with the men in 1924. Only 30 of the 108 cyclists who started the event made it to the finish line. Alfonsina was one of them. Only 4% of Italy's streets are named after women. This is a rather ugly street out in the suburbs. Alfonsina was an extraordinary woman who fought for what she loved all her life, and she deserved better. But we set off from here, via Alfonsina Strada, on our bicycles, to find out what it means to be a brave woman today. Being a brave woman today means not needing to prove anything. Being simply free to live my life however I want. I believe that being a brave woman means being true to yourself, to your dreams, your ambitions, your nature, without accepting any compromises imposed by society. Free to live however you want. Being a brave woman today undoubtedly means having the courage to be unpopular. In a misogynist country like Italy that resists women's progress, we need concrete, bold reform in every area, from school to business. Reform that will not be appreciated by ruling class, still mostly male, and made up primarily of a middle-aged man who do not consider women's issue important enough for inclusion at the top of the country's political agenda. And so feminist women who fight for their rights are regularly made fun of and met with hostility. But we need to go on nonetheless. We need strength and farsightness. But above all, we need the courage to be unpopular. Switzerland was one of the last countries in Europe to allow women to vote. Women have only voted in the federal level since 1971. The only countries to give women the vote after this were Portugal in 76 and Liechtenstein in 84. Not until 1990 were women accepted as voters and candidates in all the cantons of Switzerland. In 1928, the year in which British women obtained full voting rights, Swiss activists paraded through the streets of Bern carrying a giant model of snail, as if to say, how much longer will we have to wait? What makes me angry is that like half of the population of this planet, planet are women. Why don't we defend ourselves? So if I look at places where 
where women have basically no rights. They're used as war weapons. Why don't we stand up and say no? That's something that really sometimes we just do what men say and it's normal that we do it. And There, there would be so much power. Mm. There's so many women, and they're so strong. Bravery for a woman, it means overcoming your fear of economic, social and sentimental independence. Starting with this, aiming for it right away when growing up and building the rest on it. And then starting again every time you need to. And you will need to because if fear comes back, fear of being alone, bravery will also come back. Being a brave woman today means having the courage to decide whether or not to be a mother. Being a brave woman today means resigning from an executive position to work in the nonprofit sector in a job with no security because you want to help build a better world. La cuestión es qué hay que sentir. Es un pan con la cosa. Hoy es hoy. Pum, pum, pum. Por favor, por favor. Vos êtes bien dévoué pour faire ça parce que moi je le ferai pas. Vous êtes dévoué, hein? Vous êtes bien dévoué pour faire ça. Dévoué, alors. Bien motivé. Bien motivé. Ben, viens voir un autre secours. Ben, Ben, viens voir. C'est philosophique là. Un peu. Une femme courageuse est une femme dévouée qui respecte et suit son envie et sa volonté pour elle et pour les autres, quel que soit le sens que prend la vie.
feminism has ancient roots in France. One of the first supporters of women's emancipation was Olympe de Gouget, who ended up under the guillotine for her opinions in 1793. More recently, stylist Coco Chanel played an important role with her fashions revolutioning the concept of femininity, changing the way women dressed and thought in the 1920s. Being a brave woman today means freely choosing to be what you want to be, and women have more opportunities to be free today. It takes practice to learn to be free. Women have been practicing for centuries, while men have only been practicing wielding power. Being a brave woman today means having the courage to live a normal life despite all devastating messages in the media about the figure of a woman. Having the courage to take the umbrella and courteously hand it to the man you should protect from the sun, saying to him, you can manage too, even if you are a man. Being a brave woman doesn't mean not being afraid. It means facing up to your fears and the difficulties in your life and addressing them every day with dignity, patience, determination, and humility. Knowing that this is the only way you can prove who you are and what you want. And when a woman does this, no one can stop her. For me, it's not a question of courage. Because for me, the courage, you have to have the choice. Et pas. C'est une question d'éthique et de. Je sais pas, de. d'amour. Et on fait les choses parce qu'il faut les faire. Mais. C'est pas ce que je pense d'être courageuse. J'ai pensé à. Plutôt à toutes les femmes qui se battent pour la, contre les violences qu'elles subissent, que ce soit des violences physiques, des violences morales, ou qu'elles essaient de, de gagner ou de maintenir leur dignité, c'est tout. Ça, c'est pour moi, ça, c'est du courage. Le reste, c'est un petit peu. Oui, c'est difficile, c'est pas drôle, mais c'est pas du courage. Une femme courageuse n'est pas tant une femme libre qu'une femme qui se bat pour le devenir, tout en respectant son éthique de vie. L'empathie étant un élément nécessaire au chemin de la liberté. Mais ne serait-ce pas un parcours masculin en tant que féminin Entériner nos peurs Non è così, diciamo, da tutti i giorni fare due figli o sposarsi per due donne. Perciò fare quello che realmente vogliamo. Noi vogliamo una famiglia e l'abbiamo avuta, anche 
e in Italia dove non si può avere. Eh, le tue mamme fatto. sono coraggiose. Sì. Sì, sì. I think that being brave means feeling like a person. Neither a man nor a woman, neither heterosexual or homosexual, neither white nor black, neither rich nor poor, neither old nor young. It means having the courage to realize where you are at this moment in time, going beyond the labels, beyond the stereotypes, without presuming that you know it because you have thought of it. Bravissimo, adesso tocca a Gianji. Dani. Allora, adesso Gianji fa un disegno sulle sei donne pronto, coraggiose. Pronto. Sei pronto? Sei pronto? Sì. Sei pronto? Sì. In 1897, the National Society for Women's Suffrage was founded in London with Emmeline Pankhurst as a founding member. But it would be a mistake to think that the women's suffrage movement was concerned only about voting rights. Women demanded equality from all points of view. They wanted the same rights and duties. They wanted access to professions that had until that time been reserved for men only. They wanted to participate in political life and they did not want to be underpaid or dependent on their husband. They wanted independence. The World War proved to even the most short-sighted of men that women were their equals. When the majority of able-bodied men went off to war, women occupied many positions that had previously been held only by men. And so, in 1918, the British Parliament approved voting rights for women. Brave women are not afraid to go against the Mafia. These women allow us to think that the impossible may be possible, that there is always hope. Being a brave woman today means managing to have two children and hold down a job at the same time. Being a brave woman today means setting yourself a near to impossible goal and believing firmly that you will reach it, such as running a marathon at 50 after starting to run at 47. The act of extreme courage has no gender. It means being yourself with all your obscenities.